Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Bridgegan's Luke Newton crowdsourced his Neo Elvis suit in the group chat. This menswear thing can be kind of overwhelming for Luke Newton, the son of a hairdresser. He'd wake up every single day as a kid and meticulously style each strand in front of the mirror. But that's changed now, like most things in the Bridgerton star's adult life. As an adult, I'm the complete opposite. I want to use a bit of product, then just leave the house. Even in terms of styling, we have a group chat where we prepare looks, and I've surrounded myself with people who I really trust, so it's not just on me. It can be overwhelming. So if they like it, I'm down. Fashion by e-democracy is a novel thing, but it's effective. For GQ Men of the Year 2022, Newton has elected for boss, the eternal maker of quietly confident tailoring, and gone slightly retrofuturist on a classic. Normally there's one suit where I'm like this is it, but we had a few that I was toying with and this sort of 50s insired suit came through. It's oversized and relaxed and feels like a nice take on that Elvis vibe. I thought I got to go with it. The finishing touch? A Chopard Grail watch. The Elvis part tracks. When asked about the guys doing it good in 2023, Newton lists Austin Butler, the Elvis-looking actor who scored an Oscar nom by playing a ludicrously convincing Elvis in the film called Elvis. He's absolutely smashed it this year on the red carpet this year, it's so on point, says Newton with the energy you'd expect from the kind of football fan that showers unbiased praise whatever the team, and he's more than partial to a bit of football, according to an interview this year from the Evening Standard. But like everyone else, he's found his algorithm stuck to a certain on-screen chef that launched tens of thousands of alarmingly twisty tweets. You know who I keep seeing a lot of? Jeremy Allen White, says Newton. He just keeps popping up on my Instagram man, and they seem to focus on him a lot. He bridges that gap between events where there's a full team involved and also doing really cool looks when he's going for a coffee. Of course, we discussed the fact that the Zhao is attending as a major honoree of GQ Men of the Year 2023. And yes, he's also the reigning fit god supreme. And, like Zhao, Newton is partial to a vest. A mildly sexy vest. The sort you can slot with other layers or let sing solo under a suit. The sort of vest that our American GQ cousins coined the wife pleaser. It's become my staple. A nice pair of baggier jeans, a vest, and anything that makes for a looser silhouette. I just want to be comfortable really and focus on shape rather than anything else. But not tonight. Tonight is for celebrating, especially seeing as the recent Screen Actors Guild strike has ended. People are going back to work, Newton included. Which means back to Bridgerton. He doesn't know a great deal about the campaign trail or the filming tweaks, though. And that's kind of how he likes it. It's easier to be kept in the dark. That way, I don't get overexcited, he says. I think what's been really special is that I could have been easily overwhelmed with all of this, but we've been so looked after. I've watched actors like Jonathan Bailey navigate his way through leading the show which has helped. But when his anxieties arise, he can fire the same silver bullet that soothes his menswear insecurities. WhatsApp. When I'm feeling anxious about it all, I always contact him. He's always had some really good advice for me. He pauses and then laughs a little. It sounds really cheesy, but because the show is so family-focused, it feels like that. I know everyone says that, and it's cringe, but I refer to them as my brothers. It's really nice to have that support. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.